Hi guys, it's Chanel here for part two. Um, if you guys want to check out part one, it's actually not a part one and part two, but I meant to do them in one video, but I ran out of time. Um, but if you check out the video right before this one, I did a review of Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil line, um, their shampoo, their um, mask, and their leave-in conditioner. So um, check that out before this video. I recommend just so you can get the background of my hair and everything. But in this video, this is going to be my updated 2015 um, uh, wash day routine and I'm going to do everything right in front of your eyes. So I just got out the shower as you can tell I just put some lipstick on for you guys um, but I just got out the shower and I used again I did a review of this line in the video before and this is what I'm using now as part of my routine. So it's Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, Strengthen, Grow and Restore Shampoo. So this is what I use to wash my hair. And before I do anything, I like to not dry it all the way, even though it's kind of getting dry now, um, just because I had this on the whole time doing the second video, so all the moisture is soaked up. But um, So I get out the shower, wash my hair. I use this, which is a microfiber towel. It's not a regular towel. I've seen people speak about not even using, well, first of all, you don't want to use a towel like the one I have in the back. Um, and second of all, I've even heard people say that to not use these, but the best thing to use is like an old t-shirt or something. Um, but this is fine. It doesn't, It's like I said, it's a microfiber towel. Um, it doesn't like, I don't know, It my hair still feels good. It doesn't, you know, break my hair or anything like that. And again, it's not a normal towel. So I think it's fine, but it's really your preference. But this is what I use to dry my hair. And I'm just gonna, or not dry it, but just get the excess moisture out. Um, if I need to, so it's it's pretty, I mean, it's on its way to, to dry right now. Um, so you can see how my hair naturally curls up, like this is me. Um, no product, literally nothing, like nothing is in my hair. So you can just see that whatever you see now is the result of the shampoo. And the, sorry, the shampoo and um, the, uh, the mask. I did use the mask as well the treatment mask from the same line and um, you can see my thoughts about it in the previous video so now i'm just going to show you what i do normally i um normally i let me get my clips normally i um will re-wet if if my hair dry too much like it's kind of really dry right now but i'm not going to re-wet it i'm just going to call it a day um because i have a dinner date to go to with a girlfriend of mine at 8 30 and I have um, a practice exam to do. So I'm gonna get started and just not wet it because I need this to dry like in an hour. <laughs> um, it probably won't, but I'm gonna sit under my little hooded dryer. So the first thing I do is I put in a leave-in conditioner spray. So not, uh, not a cream leave-in conditioner. I literally always do some type of leave-in conditioner spray. I would never do this spray by itself as a leave-in conditioner. Um, I've seen people try that in a review and they hate it. Um, I don't think it's meant to be used that way. I don't think this is meant to just be your leave-in conditioner and then style because it's a liquid. I mean, how much moisture can this really do for you once it dries up? Uh, to me, it's like a base and it's like a step one. I'll either use this or I'll use Shea Moisture Thickening Mist or, you know, some type of leave-in spray. As long as it's a spray, that's the point. Um, this, this is not really a point in my routine, but I'm doing it because I had my hair in um, Puffy Twist, check out two more videos before that, or not, check out the video on my channel, um, <laughs> our channel, God's Natural Beauties. Um, but it's for dandruff and dry scalp elixir from Shea Moisture. So again, this is not normally a part of my routine, but because I had the braids and because I had the twist in and I had them in for so long, I'm going to do it just to prevent itchy scalp and you're just supposed to put it right on the scalp. You're not even supposed to put it on the hair. You can, I'm sure, but it's really for the scalp. So I just do like that and try and get in there as best I can. Nothing fancy. And then I just rub that in. Take off this ring so it doesn't snag my hair. That's really step one because like ripped my hair out. Okay, step two, I'm gonna do this as quick as I can. 
is my leave-in spray. Again, I'm not really picky on the brand. I've been using Carol Daughter since it's come out. <laughs> Their leave-in spray, not their whole line. I honestly don't like Carol Daughter's line. Um, I've tried a few products. I've had multiple fails more than success. Uh, most, multiple failures more than successes. So I don't really like it that much. I'm really sticking with Shea Moisture and as I am. But, and like I said, right now I'm really sticking with Shea Moisture and this particular line in 2015 because I love it. But um, their leave-in spray from Carol's Daughter, I've used all my life, <laughs> pretty much, or you know, since she came out. So I'll just put a decent amount, because I have a lot of hair, and I'll lift to make sure I'm getting all the hair. And then I'll just let that take for a little bit. Right, and then I'll do the next side. As you can see, my hair is pretty detangled from the mask like I don't have to do much of anything you can see my hands are going right through it I mean a little snags but that will be handled when I do the leave-in conditioner so I'll do the next side really quickly as quick as I can this is the Shea Moisture scalp again their dandruff dry scalp elixir just on my scalp to prevent itchiness and dryness and again this is not a normal part of my routine I will stop using this when it's not necessary just I've had my hair up and it's been a little itchy from the extension so I'll rub that in my scalp next really quickly my leave-in spray all over the hair I have more hair on this side. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have more hair on this side. So this one takes a little bit more. So I'm done with that. Then I will kind of smooth that through, run my hands through just a little bit, just so it coats every part of the hair. Okay next side so then i'll wrap this up so next after that is the leave-in conditioner and you can see i'm going to use again the same line the leave-in conditioner and show you how much i use okay you can see that it's falling down my hands ton of slip just so you guys can see how much i'm using right so that's how much i'm using bottom and i work my way up and i literally do it in twos like i don't do four parts my hair is um you can see that breakage right sucks that's the dangers of like <sighs> anyway i'm not actually 100 percent sure if that was the extensions or something else i think i had it before it's just frustrating because it's right smack in the front of my head. But anyway, so you can see how the curls are clumping up 